So it's Christmas Eve. My father and stepmother's wedding anniversary was yesterday. There is a reason why Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple, went out of his way to convince me that my stepmother was dead because she was hand in hand with my father uh, um, going after kids, abducting them and hurting them. But that's what this, the leader of the Satanic Temple does. I mean, he'll call me a liar and tell everyone I'm crazy. But when I think someone is a liar or I think someone's crazy, I seek out their family members to try and find shit to shut them up. Because that's what he did. And my family's involved with a lot of bad shit. And Doug has gone out of his way to try and make that all go away. That has been my experience with him. And probably other people have had the same experience. Ever since they blew up that gas station, I moved away from there, came to Harlan. Since I've lived in this house, the library and the librarian tried to hook me up with a 17-year-old telling me they were so hot. They actually hired me, but there was a huge issue because I didn't want keys. I didn't want keys to the library. That became a huge issue, but I still got hired. But then the day that I filled out the paperwork to find out that the copy of my social security card and my driver's license was sitting on the front desk for everyone to see was when I threw a fit. So we have that. Then we go to the fact that Derek Yamada, who was Harlan's chief of police at the time, came into my house, sat for an hour and a half having a conversation with me in front of a video camera that was right over my head. And I have all of it on tape with him lying to me and telling me that the people who were after me, who have been harassing the shit out of me, Oh, they lost their kids to meth and, and, and they're no big deal and all of that. I have that on tape. Then the next weekend, he sent his deputy over that was a woman who was trying to connect me to those very people saying that they left prescription drugs in their car and they got stolen in the middle of the night and wanted to know where every single one of my cameras was focused. And uh, I have that on my ring camera. Um, I, I got that. So I have a tape of that. And then the very people that they sent, the person who's living beside me and my sister, who lives 15 miles away still in Erling, at the exact same time, and the person that they're with next to me is com directly related to the ex-chief of police who retired, who was known as the biggest drug dealer in town. And then I get involved with a Christian group that I had volunteered for, for years and years and years. And then after stuff went down with my job there with someone I didn't like, that person informed me that they were working with the same people who are right beside me. Telling me that, you know, informed me they let the cat out of the bag way too soon, unfortunately, for them. They are trying to bring me down with their directed energy weapons, which comes from the same place I would be willing to bet because they want to shut me up. The, what you will find, like the people who are all involved with Isaac and everything that happened with Isaac Cappy, their story keeps changing. Doug Mesner's story keeps changing. The stories about... The gas station. That keeps evolving and changing. History is not static with these people. History is fluid. It changes at will. But my story has never changed. I just keep saying the same shit over and over and over again. My father and stepmother were involved with the child trafficking ring. They abducted kids. They hurt kids. My dad might be dead, but my stepmother definitely is not. 
And so, and there is no, when you unalive someone, there's no statute of limitations to that, you know? But if you want to know about my family, go ask Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple. He's more than willing because he's reached out to all of them because that's what you do. But again, Ohio, how many satanic after-school daycare programs are in the schools in Ohio where there's a thousand kids missing? Ask yourself that, you know? But it's Christmas Eve. Of course they're trying to bring me down. It's Christmas. But uh, I'm still here. I'm still talking. And unlike them, my story never changes. I keep saying the same shit over and over and over and over and over. And it never changes because the truth doesn't change and the past doesn't change. At least that's what I have found. We live in unprecedented days. Maybe the past is fluid, you know? Maybe. Nope, I won't even say it. All I'm going to say at this is Merry Christmas. And I hope your kids are safe, because chances are they're probably not as safe as you think. Merry Christmas. Have a great New Year.